Okay, Brenda, now we're going to have a look at bathing and some ways of overcoming difficulties that people might have with getting in and out of the bath. Getting in and out of the bath is quite a common difficulty. Very often, when people manage everything else, that, that's often the first thing that people struggle with. Really, there are two elements to getting in and out of the bath. The first one is getting in over the side, and often folk can manage that. Where people usually struggle is they can get over the side of the bath, they can get down into the bottom, but getting back up from the bottom is often problematic. So there are a few simple pieces of equipment that we can use which will make that process safer and will allow you to access bathing more easily. If you find it difficult to get in over the side of the bath or you experience dizzy spells um, then to be able to sit down and lift your legs in is a safer way of doing it rather than trying to lift your legs in over the side and potentially catch your foot as you do so. So what I want you to do Brenda is if you can just back up to the board, and that's it, so you're facing away from the bath, you just feel the board there, the back of your legs, if you just sit down. Now to make it a bit easier, if you can actually get, move your bottom back on the board, that's it, the further back you go the more support that will give to your legs and then lift your legs in like that, perfect. Potentially you could sit there to use an over bath shower that would be adequate if that was the only facility that you needed or if you prefer to shower. If however you want to actually have a bath, particularly if you haven't got a shower, then you can then go down into the bath seat that's in place. So what this does is just breaks it down to steps, just lower yourself down. Okay, so okay you're not in the bottom of the bath, it does make it more functional but it does mean that you're not going to get stuck, that you are going to be able to get out of that safely. So to get out of the bath, again just put your hands on the sides of the bath, just push yourself up and having the board there again does just break that height rather than having to go straight from the seat up to a standing position. That allows you to get yourself out, you could sit there, put your towel around, just start to dry yourself off again, it's safer than trying to stand to do that. And then when you're ready, just lift your legs one at a time over the side, straighten yourself up and then when you're ready, just bring yourself up to stand. Okay Brenda, this time we're going to look at equipment that you can use purely for, for using with an over bath shower. As I've mentioned before, main bit of equipment you'd use is a shower board, but sometimes if people have a shower screen in place like we do here, that can be quite difficult to fit because the board obviously sits on the, the sill of the bath where the, the shower screen would go. So an alternative is to use a, a higher bath seat. The one that we've got in place here is a 12 inch. Um, so what that would allow you to do is if you're safe to step in over the side of the bath, you can then sit on that to have your shower. So ideal if you find that you get tired standing or if you get dizzy. Also, if you're having those kind of difficulties, you may well find it difficult to access various parts of your body to get yourself clean, particularly bending down to your feet. So you can use um, items like a long-handled sponge. You also get toe washers, those types of things. And what that lets you do is access more awkward areas such as your back and your feet without having to bend or stretch. So it's good if you've got limited movement in your hips or your shoulders when you're using the shower it can be useful to have a grab rail in place. If you're using a rail to get from a sitting to standing position we would normally fit it at the 45 degree angle. If you're using it to step in and out then having it in a vertical position is ideal for support. Ideally we would use plastic rails in a bathroom as opposed to metal and these really should be fitted by a competent joiner or DIY person rather than the suction rails which are available. These are sufficient if you just need a little bit of support but if you're actually putting any weight through those they are apt to, to slide um, and come loose from the wall. This time Brenda we're going to have a look at using a shower cubicle and equipment that's available to assist with that. Most people are able to step in and out of the cubicle. Sometimes the use of a grab rail um, can help just to give you a wee bit of support as you step in or, and step out. But often people will find 
that it's either tiring or if they're dizzy they can sometimes feel a little bit insecure standing for the whole length of the shower. So a simple alternative is a shower seat as we have here. There are lots of different sizes, shapes and styles available so there will be something there that will suit your own individual shower and these just simply lift in and out so that they can be removed if other people need to access the shower. But this will just allow you to step into the shower and just sit down for the, the duration of your shower.